In eighth grade, I sold $200 worth of these Bass Pro Shop hats. Let me give you guys the full story. So I have a friend named Luke, and there's a picture of him wearing a Bass Pro Shop hat uh, while playing tennis, and I thought that was pretty funny, uh, and he ended up giving me like a few free of these hats um, a little while after that, so I decided to wear one of these hats to school one day. So I just wore one of these hats to school one day, and people thought it was funny. Uh, they said it was a cool looking hat. Uh, so what I did is I decided to bring the extra ones that I had to school with me and I decided to sell them to people and at first I was selling them for 10 to $12. And after I had sold the few free hats that I got from him for like 10 to $12 depending on who was negotiating with me because I was only an 8th grader so I didn't know too much about business. But pretty much after we ran out uh, I told my dad, I was like hey I need to restock on these so he drove me up to Bass Pro Shops where we picked up some more hats. So each of these hats cost $4 and I was selling them individually for 10 to $12, again, depending on who was negotiating with me. Uh, and pretty much I would just stack these and then throw them in my backpack. And literally during class, I'd be asking people, hey, you wanna buy a Bass Pro Shops hat? <laughs> and then during break and lunch, I'd just try to throw these out, offer them to people. And if they had money on them, they pretty much bought it. And it was pretty much like a meme at our school. Um, no one really knew why we were wearing Bass Pro Shops hats. I was literally only wearing it because I saw that funny picture of Luke playing tennis in it and nobody else knew about that. I just pulled up to school one day and then tried to sell people these hats. Um, and, and no one really knew why we were wearing them. They just were buying them and wearing them. Everyone thought it was funny. I thought it was cool that I was making money. That's pretty much what happened. And I didn't have like the, the records or anything because I didn't keep track of the money I made back then but I sold like about 10 hats for around $100 uh, in like the first kind of wave of hats. Uh, but pretty soon I had to restock, so again, asked my dad. We drove all the way back to Bass Pro Shops, which was like an hour, 30 minutes away, because um, we had to go over the hill anyway. So I picked up some more hats. I think I picked up like nine. I probably have a picture, I'll put it here somewhere. But um, I brought those back to school and they sold for 10 to 12 again for a little bit. But it was a few weeks after the trend and uh, it was starting to die down a bit. So I had to get this inventory sold. Uh, people started asking to get it for 8 to $10. So it started dropping the price. I kid you not, there's this kid named Thomas. I, I don't know if you're watching this right now, Thomas. Uh, but he literally bought four hats off of me for 12 bucks a piece. That was $48. And that was crazy to me as a kid. I was like, uh, I mean, I don't really want to sell them all to you because I want to save some for other people, you know. And I thought about it for a while and ended up just giving them to him for $48. Uh, but that took a dent in my stock. <laughs> but we sold them all for uh, my ideal price. So uh, it worked out in the long run. But I just slowly was going out of stock, uh, selling them for $8 to $10, trying to get rid of this inventory because the hype was dying down. But then the thing that really killed the business is a group of girls, I'm not going to name them, they realized that the hats were only $4. They drove over to Bass Pro Shops with their parents and they all got hats for retail price. So I was like, nope, threw the hat in. That's when I realized I was just riding trends. This isn't a sustainable business and uh, I needed to find something else. The whole moral of this story is if you're trying to make quick money, then go ahead and ride trends. But if you're trying to build a sustainable business, don't do anything that I did. Don't lower the prices or high the prices for different people just for different reasons if they're negotiating or not. Have a set price, stick to it. Um, and also don't sell items that people can get just as easily as you. And I know this is a really good example. Uh, some kids at my school did this. They bought fidget spinners in bulk and they sold them for like a few dollars a piece. They did take a risk. They spent a large amount of money on the bulk price. So again, that was a risk that they took and they got the rewards for it. Also, a little side note, did anyone ever notice that there's an S after Bass Pro Shops? But with these, there was very little risk involved. Probably like the biggest risk I had was asking my dad to drive me over the hill and then uh, also paying like the 40 bucks for each time I bought the hats in bulk. But I had already made my money back, so it wasn't too big of a risk. And also when people started saying, why are we even buying and wearing these hats? You can bet sales dropped. So riding trends can get you some quick cash here and there, but it's not ideal for building a sustainable business. Hopefully you guys enjoy this type of content. If you do, go ahead and subscribe right down here. To the left of me, I have some of my older videos. Go ahead and check them out. But this has been Austin Hustles. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'm out. Peace.